Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to create a glowing sphere or orb in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, first we'll create a new document. So we'll come over here to create new. I'm going to choose web because it gives us a wider range of colors when you choose something that's RGB. And RGB is web standard. So I'm just gonna go with common right here, and then we'll come down here to create. Okay, let's draw a circle. I'll hit L on my keyboard, and that'll bring us to the ellipse tool right over here. And then I'm just going to click and drag while holding shift, and that'll give us a perfect circle. Now, if you hit D on your keyboard, you'll have a white fill and a black outline. Now first, we don't really want an outline, so I'm gonna click that and just hit the none button right down here. And then I'll get back on my fill, and I'm gonna double click this and choose kind of a dark purple, maybe right over here. Okay, and we'll say okay. Now I'm gonna hit U on my keyboard and that'll bring us to the gradient mesh tool. This is how we're gonna get our kind of cool gradient swirls in here. So I'm gonna click right up here in kind of the upper left area and that'll add a point and it'll add some points out here too. And right now we only have this point selected. None of the others are selected and you can kind of tell that because they have a little white fill. This one has a blue fill. Okay, let's double click. And I'm just gonna come down here to the teals. I'm gonna choose this teal right up here. We'll say, okay. And as you can see, it's added a cool looking gradient to this circle. Let's click right down here in the bottom right area and we're gonna add a different color now. Let's double click the color and we'll come up here to, maybe we'll come up here to a mid-tone purple. We'll say okay. Okay, now this is looking really cool. Now, whenever I create these, I like the colors that are right out here to the edge to also be teal and these colors over here to be almost the same color purple. This is pretty close as it is, but let's go ahead and select these. So I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard and that'll bring me to the lasso tool. And we can just encircle the parts that we want to manipulate, just like this. Okay, and now I'm going to get this teal color. I'll hit I on my keyboard and I'll click right where that teal was. And that'll change it to teal, but I actually want it to be darker. So I'm gonna double click this teal and then just kind of drag it down here. So I'm kind of getting a starting point and then changing the color to a darker color that's a little bit the same color. Okay, that looks great. Okay, let's do the same thing down here with the purple. I'll hit Q on my keyboard to get to my lasso tool and then just draw around the points that I wanna select. I'll hit I to get to my eyedropper tool and I'll click on this purple color. And then I'll double click on the color and get it to just a darker version of that same color. We'll say, okay. All right, now this is looking really great. I think we're ready to start twirling this. And to get to the twirl tool quickly, hit Shift W on your keyboard. That'll bring you to your width tool and it's underneath that. So we can come right down here to twirl. Before we try to twirl this, let's double click so we can change the settings. I want the twirl rate to be not very much. I don't want it to go really fast. So I'm gonna put this at four degrees and the rest of it we can just leave alone. We'll say, okay. Now you can see that our cursor is pretty big and we can change that by holding Shift and Option or Shift and Alt on a PC. So I'm just going to drag to the full size of my circle almost. So now when we twirl, it'll be twirling all of this, not just a piece of it. Okay, I'm gonna put my cursor right over top of my circle and just click and hold. Oh my, and you can see it's changed part of our circle, but not the part that we wanted to change. So I'm gonna undo with Command Z or Control Z on a PC. And we have to deselect this. The reason this happened was because we only had selected some of the points to change this color out here. So let's hit Shift Command A or Shift Control A on a PC. Now hit V on your keyboard. That'll bring you to your selection tool and select it. Then we can get back on our twirl tool and the whole thing is selected now. So let's get right on top of it like this and then just 
click and hold in the middle and you can watch it twirl. Okay, that might be a little much. I don't want a really strong edge like this, so I'm gonna undo. I think I'll just click a few times so it can go slowly. That's probably about good, maybe one less than that. I'll get back on my selection tool and then just click off. Okay, this is looking really awesome. Now I wanna show you another way that you can change the colors pretty quickly. If you have it selected, come up here to your recolor artwork tool. That's a little pie shape tool up here in the control panel. And if you don't have this panel open, you can just go to window control right here. Okay, let's click it. And then we'll go straight into edit right here. And now we can kind of just change these colors as we want. So I'll pull this one around like this and you can see them changing as we do this. Now, if you don't like what it's done, you can't actually back up. So you'd have to pull it back over here, but you can always come up here and undo everything you've done here in the recolor artwork tool. So let's do that. I'm gonna click the eyedropper and kind of start over. Now I'm really liking this purple, but I think I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna pull it out here and then just make it a little lighter with this slider down here. Okay, other than that, I'm really loving the color. So I'll just say, okay, and that's it. It's so easy to make a cool, colorful orb and then change the colors to whatever you like. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.